Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here in Old World Blues, in which we're playing as the Heckhounds, of course, with the submod Hellfire, of course. And right now we're finishing up Industry Adaptation, Factory Explosion. Yesterday, one of our factories suffered an explosion with casualties. Everything seemed fine, every system was in order, and the explosion seemed intentional, so either we have a deviant among our forces, or someone capable of slipping through our armies has something to do with us. Investigate. Oh boy. The industry choice, of course. Currently our industry is a mess. Some robots start to work in the workshops, some humans are turned into slaves and work there too, and our industry system is in chaos in general. Hobbinger at first thought that being pure of the dependency of, on humans and using robots to work might be the obvious choice, but now, when some robots took the initiative or initiative of making slaves, Hobbinger's opinion on that matter divided. We can either follow the original intent and make robots work, reducing the amount of robots on the battlefield or using uh, involuntary workers, whom will be much weaker and more rebellious, but will not divert resources from our army. Now, basically, I asked you guys this question yesterday. Which way should we go? Should we go with uh, the involuntary workforce, or should we go with the robotos, and which you guys decided, we're going to go with the involuntary workforce, because we love them. Yay! We found out about these uh, Slav with the ES of, of ourselves when Hobbinger started gathering power. We required new robots and our industry system was a mess. What surprised Hobbinger is that some robots, by their initiative, started making people uh, slaves. And just how other this world communities do. Hobbinger thought of that as a good basis for our entire industry. And once you get in forces, which I think we already got already, but with uncertain industry we get more efficiency, construction speed, and replace that with even more stuff here. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Ooh, we, look at that. Construction speed goes up by quite a bit. That's pretty darn nice. But at the same time, we got to talk about the Iron Maidens as well. Iron Maidens are capsules that allowed Hobbinger to remain intact while he slept and waited for the outside world to repopulate by withdrawing blood from their victims and sending it to Hobbinger. But now the Iron Maidens are empty and there's two more options than just to fill them up again. Oh, well, we could fill them up, but... We probably won't for this time. And let's see, we have, oh, quite a, 50 more days left, and that's fine with us. So right now, the old world wall holds. We have Kemalt Station as our little puppet state, which is very nice. And we did take out Klamath at the end of last episode. Oh, our guys are still down there. Stoppin' or die, young Stumpy. Oh. Um, I think this happens almost every time. I don't think this is part of the mod. I think this happened when we were not using this mod in other times. So if you want to read about this, please go right ahead. Cool, hours pass, and finally you've conjured enough words to articulate a response. What in the world? It is what it is. Cool. Uh, who actually, who's next? Who is next on our road trip here of conquering the entire wasteland? Spending at home, Washington takeover, follow California, Texas super mutants. I don't think we're quite there yet. Old world scientists? Mojave? Hmm. Oh, we probably want to create our own faction first. So, I kind of want to take out Vault City, but I guess we'll have to wait and see, because I don't remember exactly how long we have to wait to do or go anywhere. So, land doctrine, specialized warfare, uh, oh, wait, we don't want to click on that. We don't want to click on that yet. Get some hardness, because we like being hard. And Slavsies, Slavies, thank you very much. Uh, head on over here, guys. At least we'll get some sort of planning done. And if we need to train, so be it. For the Iron Maidens. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And what are we building? Ooh, we are not building very much now, are we? We are definitely, definitely not. That is not super bueno. Look at all those resources we get from the Shoshone Nation. Oh, that'd be so nice. And we'll build up here, too, because we can. We could maybe make it... Oh, we, hmm. How many caps do we have, actually? Well, we have none, so that's okay with us. That's totally okay with us. But, metalworking is very good, too. Metalworking, and then maybe grab some more extraction. Sure, why not? We could probably use that for the future, but Iron Maiden's question. The Iron Maidens are special human-sized capsules designed by Hobbinger and constructed by its servants when the vault residents who didn't want to comply were brutally slaughtered. These capsules were meant to support Hobbinger's system while it was waiting for the world to repopulate, but instead of usual robots and mechanisms. Hobbinger required blood, and these capsules were draining blood from their victims. Iron Maidens did help Hobbinger to stay in stasis for two centuries, but now it has grown dependent on it. Hobbinger requires blood even after, after its awakening, and thus the Iron Maidens question with three options rise. We can simply find new victims for the Iron Maidens and drain their blood as Hobbinger did before, or we can try to abandon the idea of using blood as a fuel and readapt ourselves to normal and usual fuel, or redesign the Iron Maidens to also harvest the victim's flesh, thus making one simple body give more benefit. Oh, we love the flesh. But, overall, there is more support currently at the time of this recording at 10.16 at night for... 
replacement for blood. So that is the way we will be going. So fighting old habits will be hard, but definitely worth it. We need to find a replacement for blood. So this way we can have as many slaves as we want. And we can work them to death. Energy for robots. The obvious choice for a replacement occurred pretty soon. Energy. Humans used and still use it as fuel for robots and other end mechanisms, even though it might be wrong to follow their way, but unlike blood, there is a lot of it. And because that also helps our monthly population, which we want to get a massive pool of slaves. Even though actually the time it's recording, I'm pretty sure slavery or the slave mechanic doesn't work for old robots, which is a little disappointing, but it is what it is, of course. Uh, oh, we also need to get some heavy robots. I keep saying that, but we definitely get get some heavy robots. Heavy robotos. That'd be good. Oh, well, and we saw last time that Lanius wanted to fight the Legion, but <laughs> Kaisar is not messing around. And now it's more slightly more like before the what was the 3.0 update came out in Old Robloons. <sighs> good job, Kaisar. Good job. Cool energy for robots, and then we keep going down here, but we can kind of wait. Leading protocols is not bad. Removing corruption would be pretty good, but I think it's time to talk about forming department. No. Either move their FEV to home or spawning pool. Now, I did check which side we did do last time. And there's support for both sides, but unfortunately, we have to go with, for this one, move their FEV to home. We've defeated the green giants and now seize their FEV. We should transfer it back to Vault 103, which also someone said uh, we should do Vault 103, or Citadel 103, since I did the Cursed Caverns last time. We did do this one last time, so there is that. But move the FEV to their home will be a very good thing, once we can do it, of course. But let's go ahead and get, eh, I'm going to get the NCR, the Brotherhood, and eh, the Brotherhood would probably die actually by the time we get down there, and that's okay. Uh, oh, it's very weird we can grab that stuff, but move their FEV to their home so we can get down here to the Age of Demons. Oh, yes, please. We love little demon guys like that. Uh, sure, why not? Adobe housing, why not? Part standardization. Let's go ahead and grab probably some basic generators. We're probably going to need that for the future. Let's just be realistic here. Ooh, we're getting more vampire back. Actually, we can core some of the stuff, right? No, well, we can't core it yet. Now, the last time I did choose this one just because it gives you a free core, and that's always really good to get. But we're not doing that this time. Expand our home. Now that we've got enough FEV, it's time we make space for it. Our base will need to go through major construction work. And Gears Conviction, very nice. We get 4,000 more manpower in Vault 103 and get three more slots. We get some vacuum tubes. We get some radar, primitive radar, which I guess makes sense somewhat for us. Oh, that was a little bit of lag there. Oh, boy. But we're going to expand our homes. And as you guys did say last time... Oh, if you want to read about this, please go right ahead. Yeah. Well, all right. Thanks to our slavery-based industry, we can use the Green Giants as our slaves. Since they previously fought against us, we will work them to death. Yay. But, like, it, like I was trying to say before I interrupted myself, yes, I did figure out last episode that the purifiers are actually for your garrisons. Manpower is 30. Robots is, uh, what is it, 20? So we could use them, but I don't want to use them yet just because we still have a deficit of robots. And we're only trying to make two. We don't even have our guys up yet. So we will get there eventually. We will. So, yeah. Yeah. That was my mistake. Uh, apparently, in the last episode, I could have, like, just shot the followers of the apocalypse instead of expelling them. I was... Oh, maybe, I wouldn't say panicking, but I just wasn't reading, as someone did comment or point out. Now, you had the first two options, and the third option said you could just shoot them, which probably would have been the cooler option to do, but it, it is what it is. But the Age of Demons. Now that we've defeated even the Green Giants, we are powerful enough to declare a new age for this world. An Age of Demons, an Age of Us. Oh, Among Us. The hell itself will sing praises for every battle won. Very cool. Let's do some antipartisan stuff. Expand our home. I'm still getting more manpower. I love it. The appearance of the steel... Oh, I forgot about this. Appearance of the steel templars. Now we know the source of the sabotage some time ago. It was the steel templars. A group of highly trained mercenaries who take only the most dangerous jobs. Our cultists heard some things about them. Like how for their first contract, they started or cleared a death claw nest in a day. It is a group which can be a threat to our existence, even considering our current power, and thus they must be eradicated. This group consists of four members. Armorer, saboteur, me... Mediator and commander. We'll have to deal with each one separately. We will deal with them. I completely forgot about this. Oh, we can do the oh seer over rituals. Okay, if he lives, he will serve as a general. We we'll force to complete the seer over ritual. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Mari Tony, that's very nice. Anything else down here? No, not really. All right, so find out more. We they're going to have some sabotage. If we want to get rid of them, we'll have to know more about them. We can send some eyebots and undercover cultists to collect info about these mercenaries. Pretty much have to. They're, yeah, very dangerous. Very dangerous group here. Alright, let's go and grab some recycling because we're still going to need it because we're not even at max capacity up here, so. 
And behemoths are not next because that's just a little bit. Oh, ah, screw it, we'll do it anyways, why not? We have five research slots, why not, right? All right, 81, 82, not bad. Uh, it's 32 decor, that, that's pretty darn decent. And we're going to need some manpower and much more industry soon, so. We can do all this stuff, but this stuff seems okay. Uh, we could probably use Citadel 103. So today, focus. Our vault has grown much bigger when Hobbinger had awoken. The territory known as Vault 103 is not only underground, but is also on the surface. It is no, near mo no mere vault now, it is a citadel of heck. The coming destruction of this world. We have let them know about this. We have crushed Kemot, destroyed the trolls, got rid of bone dancers and Shoshones. And now we will set out a much bigger target, the most influential and power most powerful factions of this world. The purge has begun. Oh, we changed your name. Very nice. Coring Cast goes down. I'm glad I didn't even touch Coring yet. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, that's a nice little flag we have. Only good servants, of course. Uh, what do we have here? We rejected them, which is nice. Uh, so, ooh, uh, yes. I like that. Energy for robots, of course. Steel Templars. Uh, except from Steel Templar sabotages. The Great Purge. Yeah, it could be worse. could be a lot worse. Appeal to refugees minus 1,000% or 100%, whatever it is. Well, I mean, we still have 1,300 refugees, so even if we reject them, they still want to come to our lands, which is kind of insane to think about. But after this, fill California, your purification. Well, I think we'll probably have to manually start justifying other people, which is fine. Even though I kind of want to do this, of old world scientists. It seems that there's a word about some of the old world scientists who've created one of the most advanced wonders this world can offer. They wouldn't be that interesting to to us if there wasn't a word that they are insane. Obsessed with the old world and science. It'll be easy to manipulate them into doing what we want. We must send our chosen ones to find them. And can we do anything else here yet? No. And we can find out more. Okay, so. Uh, Steel Templars. As a mercenary group of experienced soldiers and infiltrators known for its efficiency and reliability, they demand high rewards, but will definitely be worth it. <clears throat> Their story started several years ago in Heaven's Gate. Jacob Gavin, one of the High Inquisitors, had to leave Heaven's Gate. When he left, he joined to a group of local mercenaries whose name is forgotten. Thanks to his skills as a leader and with guns, Jacob quickly took over the group. After a year of working together, Jacob grew bored of this group. He thought they were slowing him down, and then he shortly left that group, leaving one of the most experienced mercenaries as a leader. Jacob traveled to the halls of Shady Sands through the sh cold shores of Canada and Washington, and formed his own group, the Steel Templars. Our eyes and cultists have collected every piece of info about the Steel Templars they could. We can learn about one of them. The correct order would be Commander, Mediator, Saboteur, and Armor. Who do you want to learn about? Well, let's just go and do the Commander first, which is weird that it's in the bottom right, but okay. Jacob Gavin was born in the Steam 2238. He was a, in a very religious family where everyone, one way or another, helped to spread the faith. In Steam, either peacefully or forcefully. His mother was a missionary. His father served in the Heaven's Gate's army. His family, this family, had high expectations for Jacob and told him that if he didn't live up to them, he was no son of theirs. Jacob was a very calm and smart kid, eager to learn his family's love. Or earn of it. Or earn it. When he was 16 years old, his father said that Jacob learned enough and had to join the army. And he, of course, did. Their first mission was clearing out a camp of raiders in which Jacob showed great courage. When the leader of the infiltration group was killed, Jacob took the command and prevailed, earning honor within Heaven's Gate and respect within his family. After years of hard work serving Heaven's Gate, Jacob was granted the name of the High Inquisitor of Heaven's Gate at the age of 30. Sadly for Jacob, his first mission as High Inquisitor was to kill a family whose father was revealed as a sinner. Jacob couldn't force himself to do that, and thus was forced to be banished. St. Michael decided to spare Jacob for his service to Heaven's Gate, but he left with a group of mercenaries. When Jacob left that mercenary group and decided to create his own, he knew that only the best would be able to join him and be of use. Jacob named himself the commander and headed south in search of someone worthy to join him. After a very long travel, he encountered a weird-looking settlement. In this settlement was a big amount of dead bodies, some looking like raiders, some looking like peaceful prospectors. Above a body of some mechanic stood an NCR ranger holding his gun in anger. We can kill the commander when he will be the only standard Templar left. Mediator. Arthur Davis was born in Sac City in 2241. His mother died while giving birth, and Arthur had to grow up with his father, who worked as a local mechanic. Arthur's father hoped that his son would inherit this profession, but Arthur had other ambitions. Arthur loved reading, and when he was about 12, one book changed his whole worldview. And the book was written about how terrible it is being oppressed, how people, a lot of times, ri rise against their oppressors and win, and how people's voices can do anything if courage to do so. His dream from this moment was about making every single person free, no matter who it was. Arthur, to this day, rereads his book every year to remind himself about his main goal. After four year years, young Arthur was enlisted in the NCR army. He asked the command of appointment to protecting settlements from raiders, and the command was only happy to send him to protect settlements as the other troopers thought of this appointment as unbearably boring. After serving in the army, Arthur received a letter from his father. It said, 
that his father joined a group of colonists to form a settlement north of Sacramento, since his skills may prove useful. Arthur immediately asked for the command to relocate him to that settlement, but the command was sure that his services were not required there. Arthur then decided to prove himself enough useful to the NCR that he himself can decide when and where to serve. He trained several hours a day, and when his training was complete, he cleared a raider camp alone. NCR Ranger Corps looked, Arthur's, looked at Arthur's accomplishments and suggested joining the Rangers. Arthur agreed immediately. He then set up to the settlement where his father was. We can kill a mediator by helping him accomplish his dream, leading an army of free people. That will require at least six states with over 40% resistance. Ooh, six states. Oh, man, that's not good. So, six states? Ooh. Ooh. Well, then. Mm, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we might want to kill someone else, actually, then. How many states do they have here? One, two, well, then we'd go to war with these guys, too, probably. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can take out both these sides. Okay, and then we can record everything else here. Back. And now the saboteur. Zach Hall was born in a settlement called Progresso, far away on the cold shores of Canada in the winter of 2242. His family were peaceful fishermen who worked as hard as they could to survive. When Zach was two years old, raiders came to Progresso, the nucleus of the broken coast. These raiders were bloodthirsty murderers who killed for pleasure, slaughtering first and taking only when the bodies were cold in the Arctic winter. Zach's family were killed before his eyes, and when his turn he uh, came... <clears throat> A miracle happened. The chief raider raiding group leader entered the home looking at the helpless child. This leader looked and acted not like the other raiders at all, thinking at first and then only acting. He had seen a potential in that kid and ordered other raiders to capture him. Later that day, this leader introduced himself to the kid as Eric and said that Zack will become his legacy as he feels that his own son Ragnar didn't have the potential Zack has. For years and years, Eric trained Zack in the arts of raiding and using, using weapons. But when Zack was 15 and was in his first raid, he found a computer which seemed like some magic tool. He was fascinated by how the screen changed when you press these weird things with letters on them and wanted to learn what this thing could do more. After three years, in one raid, young Zack captured a computer technician whom he kept as his personal slave. He called him slave, but he thought of him as a partner. His partner taught him everything he knew about computer technologies and ways to bypass any computer protection. Later, Zack secretly let him go and explained his disappearance as escaping. During one of his raids on a pre-war bunker far, far north, all the other raiders were killed by the security mechanisms and Zack was the only one left. He knew that the loot would be more than worth it as it was highly experimental Chinese stealth armor, presumably Mark III. This raid was a success and he collected four full suits of that armor, but on the way out he encountered an NCR ranger and someone in metal armor who were expecting him. We can kill Saboteur when only he fails his sabotage with a very small chance. We can increase that chance by five times by completing a decision and armor. Frank Carter was born in Seattle in 2049. Frank was a troubled, fiery child thanks to his attitude. Frank was excluded from the school and then started studying the military school as a cadet. Surprisingly, he has shown great potential. He graduated the military school of honors and then went to military academy in South Carolina. There he's shown potential in covert op operations oh, okay, and then became a spec ops unit and joined the Spec Ops unit after graduating. He showed his skills in the Alaskan territory, striking the Chinese where they didn't expect, and was on several infiltration missions in China. Each, every one of them was successful. Frank was in a military camp in Washington State when the bombs dropped, and was the only place where it was presumably safe for him was a nearby bunker. The shockwaves knocked him unconscious and other soldiers within the bunker. After what felt like an eternity, Frank has awoken. He noticed that every inch of his friends now lie dead. Frank had a mental breakdown and then passed out. Upon awakening, he stood up and saw himself in a mirror, noticing how he had changed. Frank became a ghoul. He thought to himself that this is better than death and started to head out of the bunker, mumbling curses to the Chinese. Everything was destroyed. And the first thing that Frank did returned back home to Seattle in hopes of seeing someone alive. The only thing he did find were dead bodies and ruins. He felt like he was alone in this world. Frank decided to settle down in the ruined house of his family and wait if someone or something alive would come here. After a century of living alone with only the wildlife, a group of so-called Brotherhood of Steel Soldiers appeared wearing old pre-war power armor. <coughs> Frank uh, had to try to contact them, but they would try to shoot him on sight no matter what he said or did. Then their numbers and influence only grew and Frank had to go underground. He thought of them as betrayers of the state and wanted to get rid of them, but 50 years of trying did not show any progress, and he had given up. He decided to act as a mercenary and information dealer, earning just enough money to live on. One very day, a very different looking raider approached Frank and asked of any site with pre-war loot, and he was ready to pay, that, pay for that information. Frank, of course, remembered the one far north, but he also warned the raider that the bunker won't let go of its loot with ease. The raider then left, but later that same day, a couple of NCR rangers someone, and someone in metal armor approached Frank and asked for any pre-war experimental gear. He told him the same location, he told the raider, Rainer, earning twice the amount for one place. After a month, the NCR ranger and his friend returned together with the raider and had an interesting offer for Frank. We can kill the armor using decisions. Awesome. We know enough. Is it a trap for the trapper? Well, I got a lot of peepee for this. And lure the armor into the trap. Might as well. Might as well do all this stuff as fast as possible, right? 
Uh, six dates with a lot of resistance. Yeah, okay then. Um, I don't remember if we, how, do we get to do this one easily? 70 days, oh, we might as well try to kill them off, right? We might as well try. They've only up to 12 divisions, which isn't bad, so. Uh, old world scientists. Actually, Texas super mutants. We could probably do that one too. Yeah, why not? We can do that one next. That sounds like a good idea. Even though the land known as Texas might be a long way from us, the Hobbinger feels that something out there is worth all the resources and time we can spend on investigating this place. Someone, by the name of Demon's Attorney, has so much powerful evil aura that it leaves Hobbinger looking forward to what we'll find there. We should send the Chosen Ones. Not a bad idea. And we'll go with Cultus 3143. Nice. Uh, let's go with this one because we can. Cool. Ah, oh, the Citadel. Yeah, we definitely want to build up the Citadel. That'll be important. Uh, two. Yeah, it's already kind of built it up. R the Citadel! Exclamation point! Ah, oh, it's exciting. That's very exciting. Cool. And they encourage resistance. Mediators recently taken an initiative and took a visit to several rebel movements and encouraged them. We'll have more trouble subduing the resistance for some time. No matter, we will crush the resistance. And energy's better than blood. Let's go ahead and do what? Surrender limit? I kind of want to get that surrender limit. 5% though, 10% though, oh my goodness, Demonic, uh, demonic Goderino, um, yeah, let's go, remove corruption. The corruption is now gone, Hobbinger thinks and works like a true supercomputer without any disruptions or errors. Nice. Hunt down the commander, we got some primitive radio, cool, get some simple circuitry, even though we are made of robots that are not super simple, but whatever. And after this, what's the next decision here? We got we gotta wait a little bit, that's fine. Anything else? Propaganda efforts, not bad, not bad. Clamp down on autonomy, probably not. Everyone needs to die here that wants to uh, fight against us, which is sucky, 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 but that's all right. And we'll grab some of this too? Sure, because we can. Actually, you know what, no, screw it, not that one. Robots, there you go, a little more soft stack. And that's not much, but the thing tank. The Chosen One's expedition to the Old World Scientist was a success. They found a dome with flashing blue lights, which had an aura of old world. They still have to enter that building and they can either find a group twisted and focus on the past scientists or find something useful for our own. It's time to find out and the expedition group enters the dome, finding the scientists. Oh, there goes New Hammond. Bye, New Hammond. We're probably going to kill the, uh, pretty much everyone actually, but still. After that, Demonic God. Uh, well, you probably strengthen Demonic Personality. Hobbage has become what it is from XAZ3, but now Hobbage is no mere advanced supercomputer. He is a demon, one straight out of heck. And I definitely want to grab the uh, Surrender Limit because eventually we're going to have Civil War, which is going to suck, but whatever. I forgot that we will have a Civil War here. Nice. Armor's Eternal Trap. We rigged some of our secret information and left it in an undefended location. Steel Templars got it and sent out the armor to sabotage one of our bunkers. But one thing they didn't know, the entire bunker was only a trap. The door will close and never open. And using explosives to get out would only set off the high flammable fuel located in every room of that bunker. Armor is a ghoul and because of that his sufferings will be even worse than if he was a human. We cannot forget about him. Let this bunker be your grave. Hunt down the commander. Well, he's not. He's the one left. We is begging to die painlessly. Cool. And mediators can be killed after he starts an uprising. After he fails to sabotage, this can be increased decisions. Uh, six states with 40 per, or more resistance. More states with 40 or more resistance will increase that chance. Oh, that's going to be really sucky to fight. That's going to be incredibly sucky to fight. I wonder if we can fight these guys right now. They don't really attack us, so we probably need to be careful about how we attack. Because our robots here, they're not perfect yet, so we're going to have to be careful. Even though we're doing quite well right here, which is nice, don't get me wrong, but still. Uh, Entity 587874, Cunning Desert Fox, probably. And Robot. Yeah, that's going to be very good. Hello. Would you like to die, sir? Thank you. Behemoths, nice. Basilisks, nice. Let's at least start making some of these guys. That'll be important. And Travel Scout Kits, nope. Doggos, yes. Support Comment, yes. Planes, we're good. <laughs> we're good. We're here anyways. Go ahead and core that stuff. It's fine. There you go. Alright, so up next, what are we going to do? There's only one division there. I would like to take Crater Lake, really. So you guys go there and go there. You guys go there, to there, to there, 
to there. Cut them off if you possibly can to have you guys go right there. Boom, boom. There you go. And you guys go right there. That's fine. You guys should do pretty darn well right there. Not expecting too many difficulties with that. Alright, they are attacking us. So, not too bad. And we are attacking them as well. Strength and demonic personality. Very good. And let's go ahead and do human slaves. The world has plenty of humans, so our slave industry should be and must be based around them. Humans require food, water, sleep. They might not be as strong as robots or automatons, but their strength is in their amount. Oh, yes. Nothing like good old slavery. Actually, if you want, you guys can go actually there instead. Wait, I want you guys to go here. Oh, they're looking pretty weak. Nice. If we can get there, then we can just circle that one division, which would be very bueno. Hey, look, an encirclement. It is a beautiful thing, my friends. A truly beautiful thing. And unfortunately for this area, we will have to uh, raise resistance as high as possible. It is quite sad. Eh, I'll get that one. And they're gonna die. Hope these guys die too. Oh, the courage resistance once again. That sucks. They do have quite a bit of resistance right there, so. Actually, since we're here, occupied territories. The apostles, no occupation. We still might be doing okay, even if we don't, like, uh. We take these guys out. We can have bait some of these guys and. Get resistance here because of that stuff. So, there you go. There you go. Not bad. And we've still lost nobody. And, oh, we lost five now. And killed off 1,200. Not bad. Get to the line, everybody. Have a good time. And get to the line. All right. Human slaves are nice. But what if we get muted slaves? Not bad. Mutants are the result of radiation poisoning and other accidents. The humans with ugly faces are called ghouls, and the green giants, like to our west, are called super mutants. Both can be used as slaves, and they will be much better than the regular human ones. Ghouls require much less food and are resistant to radiation, and super mutants are much stronger and also resistant. What's not to love? What's not to love? Now let's get our guys all in the line. Man, they take a while to move. They're still minus 500, which is not good. Let's go in anyways. And go right there. And hop out. And do well. At least... Oh, hello. Where'd we go? Ah, oh, we do have planes, but we don't have any air bases nearby. That sucks. Basic wall bombs are good. Anything else for robots for now? Yes. It's more soft attack. That'd be good. And head on over there if you possibly, possibly can. That'd be very good if we could. Culp Creek would be nice, but we actually might not need that. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I don't mind coring one more place, but the resistance is pretty darn high right now. Point two, point one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's quite a few places that will spawn a civil war. Mutant slaves are very nice. We only want the best slaves here. Slaves hierarchy? Well, we can do that later on. Demonic God. And this world will know how much sins it has it committed, for the demonic God from heck has come to purify the sinful. Because I want more political power and more surrender limit. <sighs> Very good. Flamethrower add-ons? Ah, just what we wanted. Annihilators? Yes, please. Simple circuitry? Very good. Ah, radio? Yes, please. Get those guys in there. We've lost a total of five still, versus a thousand. And at this point, I just kind of want to do a general attack. We're probably not going to do well, but what if we went all go right there? There you go. If we can break them, that'd be nice. Uh, we can't really pierce them, but they can't really pierce us either, so... Not bad. As long as we can break them, we can kill two more divisions, and we'll do a general attack. Robots from a faraway land. Something very curious happened today. It seemed that some unknown robot has walked from far lands into our territory. We did not know if he was carrying some message or just wandering, but he was in a very bad condition and was turned off for sure shortly after being found out about. Even though the robot itself is useless for now, its body can be used. On one end, we can examine that robot and try to replicate its model or just collect what it has in its memory banks. Oh, I don't remember what it has. Ooh, what it has in its store for us? That's probably pretty good. It's, let's, pro let's probably just best go down the model as potential. And we love models here. And just go on in. 
There you go. We can do some of this stuff, but I kind of wait first. And we get quite a bit of arm XP. We have a demonic god, which is nice. And up next, we can do all this stuff too. Yeah, 50, 50, that's not bad. Fall California, Texas Super Mutants. I think I already read this one, so if you want to read this one again, please go right ahead. Nice. Okay, guys, uh, just go ahead. Can we call, call at least a troll worn area? That'd be really good to do. Uh, less than tw oh, t less than twenty percent resistance. Uh, at that point, one, two, three, four. Are they override our orders? It seems that the saboteurs hacked our communications system and tricked our military. Every unit is now ordered to move to our capital. And they think they can stop us? Well, I mean that's why you want encircled division. So I'm not upset about that really. It is what it is, you know. All right, so let's see. F six. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff here. No, eighties. Come on. Oh, oh, it's so bad to have a border with the. Oh no. Oh no. Well, let's let me core one of these areas first. We'll probably at least core this one probably. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I d I want to minimize the amount of territory here. There we go. One, two, three. It's four, five, six, seven. All right, so this area, let's go ahead and do this one. We'll do it manually for now. No occupation, no occupation, and then no occupation. That's good. So one, two, three. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I do want to core this one, though. But uh, uh, I just go no occupation for now, just because it gives it a higher chance of to, for the Civil War to actually spawn. And because the capital's over here, I'm going to go ahead and do this. All the divisions over here. Cool. Meeting the scientists. We could probably do that, but I want to keep going down. Actually, let's start off with this one up here. We haven't done this one yet. The Princes of Hell. The Princes of Heck is a pantheon of the strongest, most influential demons of our world. Using their images and dedicating rituals to them, we will earn their blessings and become much stronger. Stability, war sport, what's not to love? Unassimilated refugees? Well, they'll become assimilated eventually. Not bad. Impact resistance chassis, very good. Cooling systems might as well. Legions of Hack. And another tribe, the NCR might, or not NCR, New Arena might want to come kill us later on, so we'll definitely have to wait and see about them. And we're still building up our civvies, which is nice. Very nice. We're doing well with this, we're still making some of that, not bad, not bad. Basilisk, release protection, uh, 13835. 8, 6, 35, 9 and a half soft attack, 6 speed, 9 and a half soft attack. 14 demolishers. Ah, these guys are a little more expensive to produce. They're slower. 16 armor versus. Hey, oh my gosh, I have to go with basilisks. Just have to. It's, it's, we don't get nearly as many, but I think that'll be worth it. Spymaster, we could probably do that one. I wonder how much this costs. Cool. And let's take a look at this. So it's going up, 35, that's good, good, good. Ooh, this is going to be core anyway, so it doesn't even matter. And Asmodeus, so that while we still have a puppet, Asmodeus is a depiction of lust. Though something of that lust as sexual, oh, in our case, it's lust for power. Lust for more control. Their blessing will make a rule more influential and powerful. What's not to love? 1.86 political power every single day? Not bad. So we need, we need more resistance. How do we get more resistance here? I think we're already doing okay with this stuff, right? No garrisons. It sucks that you literally have to bait them out, but it is what it is, I guess, you know. Heavy robot divisions? Well, that's not bad. Support robots, support robots. Uh, yeah, we have to throw in enough support robots so these guys have enough organization. It does lower the armor quite a bit. Actually, you get a little more armor, technically. But 20 combo width is where I like to have it. You could lower this to this, and then this, and then increase it to have combat robots. That is possible. Actually, you can just take one, but that organization is really bad. You get a little bit more soft attack right now. And you actually get worse armor, so that's interesting. So, the way this one is actually pretty good, so. Well, we'll only make one at a time for now, since we can't really afford too much, obviously. Sabotage. Oh, boy. Annihilators. Saboteur, like an idiot he is, got caught during one of his sabotages. Oh, look at that! He 
we was going to sabotage the network, but I didn't notice a small hacker tracking him, a tracking addition on him, which let us find his current location and capture him. He doesn't want to tell us anything about his companions, but we got more than what we needed. Now, get what you deserve. You get what you deserve. Nice. Very good. Oh, annihilators. Um, armor is 16. Well, we'll compare to what we got earlier. Do we not get... Ooh, we need scientific robot tech. That's not good. That is not good. And finally, oh, we can do this stuff too. That's not bad. Swindle is even better. That's not too bad either. Heck on lamb. We'll remain true to our origin. Pretty much. Might as well do that too. Alright, so we killed up both. For, oh, 42%. Nice. That's almost 40% as well. That's pretty good. Is feeding worms. Very good. Very good. I'd love to go to war, but I don't want to have a, to fight a massive civil war with a lot of territory. So we'll just keep it the way it is for now. No matter what. Just keep it the way it is. Good, good, good. As much as I want to core things so badly, it'll be fine. Anything down here? Procurement of things? No. Development projects? No. Eh, we could probably do that. We'll probably integrate them eventually. Who are they led by currently? Akri. Okay. Cool. And heck on land, and we'll do destroy the world because I want more defense. Oh, support and combat robot will receive next bonuses. More breakthrough. We'll make sure this world will be purified by rebirthing. Modify heckhounds with more soft attack, hard attack, defense. We love it. We absolutely love it. Alright, and we're currently at 45%. Nice. So these four are really good. We need this one, and then this one, and maybe even that one too. Keep going on with us. After we destroy the world, then what? Leading protocols? We'll probably do leading protocols next so we get that guy. Limitless armies are not easy to control, even if they are obedient robots. Creating new leading protocols will allow Hobbinger to better control and use our armies. Starting level of new army commanders plus one, which is great. Maximum command power increase of 50. And daily command power uh, gain multiplier plus 10%, which is not bad. We do pretty well with it, but still not bad. Decryption is good. Leading protocols. Oh, we get new military advisors as well, which is what exactly what we wanted. Do we get something else here yet? Nope, two days. And eh, we're almost there. Nice. We're doing well on manpower. Look at that. Because we get, like, don't we get like 15 every like quarter or something? So... Slashing melee? Slashing melee? Hmm. Do we really actually want that? Well. Let's go with pipe guns for now. Hmm. Very odd. But whatever. Oh. Crap. Ooh, that is not good. Okay, if that's the case, you guys are going to go to pacification then. Um, one, two, three, four, four, five. We're going to keep these. Uh, they're already fighting these guys too. Oh, are the rip? Do the rip breakers want a territory? The war bands muster? No, they don't. They probably don't. So that's good. War bands? No. That sucks. But this will give us a lot more territory that we need to uh, deal with. So, and we really need to focus on our industry a lot more too. Okay, you already said that, Marlux, but okay. We will deal with this. Twice at one time. They want that territory? Yeah, we don't think so. The Devil's Attorney from Texas. Nice. The Chosen One's expedition to Texas was a success. They have encountered several super mutant groups, one of which seems most interesting and important. Shio's army, as well as they, as they call themselves, are rem remnants of some army led by Addis, now long dead super mutant. But it's not the Addis who is interesting, but a companion of Shale. It seems that this companion is the Devil's Attorney our master felt. This companion calls itself Calyx. It gave the Chosen Ones a special device that allowed Hobbinger and the Devil's Attorney to communicate. Our influence has spread even in Texas. Nice. After leading protocols, we will go ahead and do more of this with Meet the De Demon's Attorney. The Chosen Ones have succeeded. They've returned with Special Device that allow Demon's Attorney. Uh, and Hobbinger gets in contact at any time they wish. Now we just have to install it. Oh, wow, that's not good. Our defenses are not doing very well right now. Uh, go and get Ripper, why not? Wow, they're very strong. They're incredibly strong. How are they winning against us? I mean, you guys aren't that great. But can they pierce us? They can. That is not good. Okay, so pull you guys back then. Pull you guys back. That is really bad then. So 
Especially if I want to do that one, we got to keep going this way. Burn their homes. No more of these buildings will save you from what you deserve. Wow, they're just demolishing us. Retreat, retreat, retreat. Lock's demise, that's nice. Yeah, these guys are just really bad. We definitely need some better industry. Go, 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 go. Before we can't go in there anymore. We might lose a division. Maybe. C27. We have finished examining the model robot from Far Lands and have successfully replaced the model. We also found that the robot is apparently coming from Chicago and is one of the C27 model robots which were created by some now long dead AI named Calculator. We'll make sure to use this legacy to our favor. Add to the technology. Great. Marley Tab attract us. The giant crabs have the audacity to attack us. We'll show them how wrong they are with their actions. Demon spawns are not going down that easy. Prepare the defenses. We're able to make Myrlik try much weaker against us because of our increased chances of winning. Okay. Doesn't seem that much weaker, but okay. Especially with these guys fighting these guys as well, so that's not too bad. Ooh, do we want these guys? C-27s? 25 armor, that's so much armor. I've got to go with that, right? You just have to. Oh, we got encircled. Oh, I knew we were going to lose one guy. It's fine. Let them come in and deal with the resistance, too. And as we're getting taken out by these guys, so. Nice. Well, as long as we don't have to deal with them. Three, four, one, two, three, four. You can probably do that. We can't even hold there. Wow. Wartime administration. We want to rebuild that. Please go ahead. Let's go ahead and uh, I can have that too. That's fine. Whatever. Burn their homes. Burn their homes. Demolish their stuff. Yes, please. More supply use. Even more defense. Walls of Stone are not enough to stop the army of heck. Pretty much. Pretty much. Unobstructed piloting is nice. Anything for robots? No, we cannot do that. Get some complicated circuitry. Distribute pet boys, which is good. Go ahead and do this as well. Crow lands. Good. They stopped attacking us. Why is that? Okay, shiny example. Oh, we don't need the PP. Just go and lower their autonomy then. Okay then. Sure, why not? We got more defense, which is great. We love more defense. Let's get some more cap and output. Cap to get more output. And they're stacking up there. Very nice, very nice. Last time we played in this mod, the troll one gave us some trouble. I don't remember if the Marlux gave us any trouble though. So, Brotherhood Operative Capture. Actually, instead of doing that, go right there if you can. I wonder if we can win right here. Can we win doing this? That'd be really good. Take the capital and encircle everyone else here. That'd be muy bueno. Oh, crap. Oh, we're suffering attrition because of the resistance. God dang it. Oh, God, why did they have to attack us? Seriously. it's That's incredibly stupid. So incredibly stupid. That was... Why? Why? For the love of God, why? Jesus Christ. Ah. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I understand the whole resistance thing. Maybe move it around. I don't know. There might be some other way we can change it to make it different, though. Um, compliance speed. We don't need that one right now. We could probably use cold steel. Our steel would be as cold as Helheim. Or we can go ahead and do what we really want to do over here. Workshops of Heck. These workshops were not used the workshops we, from the army of Heck, deserve. Our true workshops use magma to melt black metal and construct shining demons from it. So let's use and construct the workshops we truly deserve. Oh, don't attack. For the love of God, please do not attack. Do not attack. I'm about ready to leave this area here. You know what? We'll probably want to leave this area. Get out. Seriously, just get out. Don't worry about it. Get out. 
Let them come in. Let them deal with all this resistance here. Interrogation. Work, watch out for spies. Oh my goodness. This is so bad. Don't worry, let him, just go, just go. Please just go, please, 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 please. We don't have the, the industry for this. Get out, get out. Greater Lake. Loads of resistance. Look at how bad it is. Because we have to deal with this attrition thing. I just... Mm, I totally understand what the mod developer was thinking here, but... It's so bad when other people can declare war on you at the same time. Oh, that's not very bueno. But sturdy foundations. The world is weak, but adapting to it will only make us stronger. The land we use for our own needs is fragile, not able to hold our structures, so we must construct the foundations our buildings require. We definitely need more military factories, but can't even barely make cities. Come on, rib breakers. I can't believe I want the rib breakers to win, actually. Pipe guns are nice. We get some of that too. Please, for the love of God, put down resistance. For the love, a love of God, get rid of that resistance right now. And we can go do this too. We only need one for now. These guys have got to be feeling a lot of pain by taking over the land right now. They've got to be, right? No, they're not. No, they're not at all. Which is insane. Ah. So for now, you guys can just go ahead and form a front line here. Oh, they should be feeling it. They should be feeling it over there. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Grab some of that. I don't want to build radar up right now, but we'll get an air base maybe. Oh, don't do it there. Do it right there, maybe. That's a core piece of territory. And if you want to, we can do that too. Sturdy foundations, nice. And building techniques. And get more construction speed. 20%. Nice. This world follows other rules than ours. And we must make use of that. The building industry of our world is much more advanced. And it results that are only the biggest, sturdiest, and highest building. Let us see our home world building technique here too. This is good. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh boy. Mm. Yeah, I see how that one. That'll help out a little bit. Slaves? Yay. Expanded slavery. Resistance record goes up. Uh, military factory can construct speed. Oh, this improves much better. Yeah, ooh, that was better. Yeah, let's do that one. There's our stability a little bit more, but whatever. It's fine. I don't want to move in there. I really don't. Now that's looking a little better. Minus 1,000 is better than minus 1,100. It's slowly getting better. Ever so slowly. Ah, oh, this sucks so much. If they leave... Oh, darn it. Are they really leaving? Are they really attacking us here? Oh, my gosh. How can we not even win a defensive corn territory? How? I mean, these guys I know suck, but... Come on, man. Come on. Oh, there goes the NCR and the Brotherhood of Steel. The building technique is good. And so, overall, for this one, we're going to go in and choose this one because that's what we get, you guys re really recommended. Examining the human structure and biology, we found out how they populated this world. Consuming food and finding partners, they were giving birth to new humans, who then grew up and gave them birth to more humans, and so on. We can use that knowledge to expand our slave count. We will start from food. Oh my god. Ah. Uh. Not bueno, man. Not bueno. Can't even use planes because we need air bases and stuff. I guess we can do air base raids, but it's not really going to do much for us. Twice in two lifetimes, okay. We lost. We, well, realistically, we have not lost that many guys. We have not killed that many guys either. You guys come in too. But still, commando training. Okay, so thank you, Myrlurks. Thank you for dying. And I will give most of this, pretty much all of this, to you guys. I did want to go to war with them, but. After the mess that this was, you know what? Ooh. Crow, Crowlands. I guess I, we could take it, I suppose. Eh, no, I'll give it to them. They have score. We'll, get, we'll take that back later on. Okay, so maybe now we can do what we really wanted to do originally. That was a very... That was very distracting. I'm not going to lie. That was very, very distracting. And we did lose the division in, in the meantime with this, which really sucked. And we lost so many guys. So much equipment. Ah! 
Eradication. No, 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 no. We want no occupation. No occupation. Three. Well, you're, they're already there. And these guys are already there, too. No occupation, and then no occupation. So all of this should be going at one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Refine tools. At least we're getting there now. Go and get rabbit boards that we need that now, so. And see, 27s are so nice to get. So nice. So good. Better doggos. Uh, basic weaponry. Grippers. Yeah. Nice. We make one a day. That is so... Oh, not does not make me feel good. That really does not make me feel good. But now that we got that one done. I would like to get to industrial... Oh, there we go. Industrial one would be actually very, very good to get. Very, very good. Ooh, slave hierarchy. Slave breeders. Ooh, you are... Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Now that we've gathered enough food for the slaves, they will require partners. It seems that feminine humans care the soon to be born humans, and masculine humans only need to get in touch with them. We'll re reassign some slaves to help only with reproduction. Thumbs up from me, man. Thumbs up from me. Breed them so each woman has like six kids, I guess. I don't know. It's weird that we want to replace them. Oh, but High Chapel is looking not great. Just like us earlier. Not great. Oh, we need more. Oh, we're going to need more energy. That's not good. That's really not good. CQC training. As much as I want to build, build these up first. That's more important. These will be done in 2079. And that'll be done never, of course. 10,000. How much does each one make? 10,000. Oh, it's almost exactly the same. That's so bad. Uh, that's a case. Get some more extraction. We need extraction. Uh, I want more energy. But if we build this up faster, we can make things other things faster, though. Uh. Slave maternity homes. Because we do get more construction speed, which would be very, very important as well. We have food and partners, but something isn't working. The new humans suffer from diseases, and slaves that born them sometimes will also die from unknown causes. One of our cults has proven to be an expert in this field, and has explained that to make feminine human successfully bore, bore a new human, it will need special tools and special hospitals known as maternity homes. We should build those. Yeah. We should build those. Totally build those. Alright. Economic advisors. High production. Less reliability. I don't want to have less reliability. Consumer goods, not bad. Uh, invisible ink's nice. We can steal some tech, though. Expert builders. That's not bad. That hurts the consumer goods. Yeah, that's not worth hurting consumer goods for factory construction speed right now. That's just really not worth it. There goes those guys. Alright, and right now, we should be getting... We're very, very close. One, two, three, four, f five, six. These are going to be five, six. This is going to be 30%. So, maternity homes... That's fine. Encourage more resistance, which sucks. Decimetric radar. Let's grab some of that. It's a little bit ahead of time, but it doesn't matter to me. And slaves hierarchy. Slave hierarchy is a stimulus system in which one of the high cultists which who came up with it, using old world community structures as basis. They still must tell Hobbinger the details of it. That's a nice number you have up there. Uh, we should be able to get through that pretty quickly. Can we actually change our... No, we have expanded economy. Masters of the West would be pretty nice, actually, to grab. Actually, plus 25%. We need to complete slave overlords and more than 25. Steel technology. Alright, so we should now be at the... Yep, at the stage. Capture losses of bunkers. Lot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, right? Wait, recruits in the Legion of Heck. Sure, why not? So we should be getting this soon. Maybe when this thing is done, we will get the little event while we're building up our civvies and trying to get more energy. <laughs> Only one extra energy. Oh, not good. But slave overlords. Our slave industry is working better than it ever was. Our workshops never stop working. Dozens of robots are made every day. And a rule over the slaves is sturdy as iron. Now the slaves call us slave overlords, but not out of respect or admiration, but of fear. This name fits us perfectly. Absolutely perfectly. Get some more extraction. We need it. The slave hierarchy choice. Our slavery industry is prospering, but one of the cultist slave masters had an idea. Create a hierarchy system for the slaves, so that the best slaves will be higher on that system, and will have more power and supplies like food and water. This might motivate the slaves work working better and faster, knowing that later they will eat more and work less than the result. This is where the main question rises. Will we make them work less, and, or give them more food? Both choices will give us more profit than to slaves, so we should not worry about that. Someone did say in the comments that we should just whip the slaves as hard as we can and work, 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 work. Work now and then work less. But then is never coming. Or more food for the hardworking? 
So wait, resource efficiency gain plus 5%, construction speed goes away 10%. Uh, this one gets 5% construction speed, 10% of our monthly population. Oh, we are breeding people like crazy here. And you get more research speed too. You get more cap and growth, but you get a little bit less. I, I, we need that resource efficiency gain. But um, we get better consumer goods, we are going to breed the hell out of these slaves. Oh my goodness. We are going to solve the fertility crisis in the West, but whatever. Very good. Oh, we love slavery here. Hurts the ah, it still hurts the construction speed. No wonder think this thing is going so slowly. But hey, 15 to 3, nice. Very good. Very, 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 very good. Now we should have the Civil War soon. But after this, Industrial Wonder. Even though we may reach this peak of our industrial might, there is still enough place for us to become even stronger. Some would say that wonders are heaven's blessings and that they are meant to help and save people, but this time it's different. This time this wonder, this miracle will only make us stronger. And we get advanced tech, which is great, and six more factories sign us up. And I think it makes more sense for us to go basic laser weaponry for this campaign. Oh, yes. Hey, we're less than 900, which is not bad. Not great, but hey, not bad. Slave collars. Oh, I can't wait to use them. So really, this should happen soon then. Form and sabotage with some chance. Yeah, this this when this thing is done, we'll probably be in a civil war, which is not gonna be boring. Oh, are we done with that civvies? Oh yes. Um, make some millies. Civvies, 60, 70, 70, 70. There you go. We want the energy. Don't get me wrong, but still. Industrial wonder. A 60-day focus. Two months. Oh, that hurts. But it's really not that bad. It's looking kind of red around here. Oh, oh, that, oh my, oh, you just hurt the NC, uh, maybe not the Reno. They were looking really bad right there, but that's interesting why the NCR took that territory. <sighs> Jesus Christ, guys. You, yeah. Sharing is sometimes caring, but my goodness. All right, here we go. No. Um, I don't like this part where we're just kind of waiting for them to fire the Civil War. And... Uh, we're ready to go. We are literally ready to go now, and we really do need to go now, just so that we can continue expanding and doing other things. Uh, wow, man. I hope it happens soon-ish. It's just random. It's literally just random, so there's not much we can really do. There you go. You want to do that? That's fine with me. Don't, just don't bother me with that. Exploit them? Well, in the meantime, we're going to keep doing this and keep doing our focuses as well. So after this one, let's go ahead and do energy is better than blood, probably. Oh, but terror, corpse fortifications... Compliance growth speed goes up. Oh, that's not bad. Armor. We could use more armor. Armory of Demons sounds really quite nice. More organization. Just by War Goes Times. We get some stuff down there. Lucifer. How do we do this stuff? Convoys. We need some convoys. We need payload gliders. Okay, we can probably do that one. Mammon. Well, let's probably do this one for a better surrender limit. Lucifer is a defection of pride. Pride for how much we accomplish. Pride for how much we will accomplish in the future and pride for how much our servants are loyal to us. Their blessing will make us more appreciative of our accomplishments. So I think that'll be pretty good to do. Plus 50% surrender element's pretty nice. Just fire rule times, it's only 10%, but that's not bad. Industry to overlord, plus 25%. Military industry to overlord, plus 25% as well. That's pretty good. In the 80s, we will have to go to war with the 80s soon. Which is gonna suck. And what do we have? Oh, we're still simulating people here. We might as well get this here over ritual wall as well. So, and probably clamp down on Oh, it's so good to get done. Uh, other stuff, so not bad. Maybe we'll read one more focus before we end the episode. How about that? Actually, I'm going to put two a day. That's really good. Uh, that's okay. Uh, uh, I don't mind doing this one, probably. That's probably for the best. Probably. Cool. That's a little bit ahead of time, but not quite much. And militaristic actions enthusiast. Not bad. I kind of like that one, too. But required gizmos goes down, research speed goes up, stability, more support is not bad. I do like this one as well. Yeah, let's go with that one. Work camps. Oh, we love the work camps here. And we'll go on with energy is better than blood. Using energy as our fuel for some time, we found out that it's actually much better than blood. It makes sense since humans didn't use their own blood to power the robots and machines. Just kind of makes sense. Just It just worked, you know, it just works. And we will conclude today's episode with Cold Steel. Our CO will be as cold as Helheim. But if you enjoyed today's episode, please do consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in if you haven't already, which is in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we will have a civil war and then greatly, greatly expand with a much bigger industry. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.